Hi, I'm Toby with HitSource.com and I'm here with David Robinson and we're going to talk about the spare tire carrier and some of the key features that make this such a great product. Well, before we talk about the key features, let's just talk a little bit about why you need it. Um, you know, imagine driving a car across country without having a spare. You just don't do it and in fact, all the cars come with one. But that's just not the case with motorhomes. Motorhomes don't come with spares as a general rule. So when you do have a flat, you don't want to be stranded alongside the road with cars whizzing by at 60 miles an hour. Uh, maybe you're stranded outside uh, of Phoenix somewhere and it's 120 degrees. When that guy gets here to replace your tire and wheel, you want to have it at hand. Plus, you're able to control the cost of the wheel and the tire. Uh, it, it enables you to get back on the road in a hurry with the right match tread for your motorhome. This actually has a receiver hitch built right into it. So what's going to happen is, is the spare tire carrier will insert into your normal two inch receiver where you normally put your ball mount or your tow bar. Okay. And whatever you were towing before, you're just going to put right in here. Okay now David, how much weight will this thing carry? Uh, first of all, I should mention that this is a universal tire carrier. This one size, we've got one skew that fits everything. 16, 16.5, 19.5, 22.5 all the way up to the 24 and a half inch tires and wheels. The Stinger is a solid steel Stinger's 10,000 pound capacity with a 400 pound tongue weight. So you can tow a flat, you can flat tow a car, you can tow a boat trailer, you can put a bike rack, uh, any normal hitch accessory. A spare tire on an RV is extremely heavy. What makes this easy for the customer? I mean, a lot of customers out there, are, you know, they're worried about the weight of the tire. You know, it, it, it may be difficult for them to get this tire up into position right they're really heavy so what we've done is we've put a lever bar it's built into it and it stores right with the product pin it in place there is a pull pin on the back side it's spring loaded so it automatically locks when you raise it up pull that up hinge it all the way down to the ground and then the next step is is we're going to want to bring a tire right up to this place want is to get this top hole first, and I'm going to adjust this around just a little bit, there we go, slide that through. You'll notice that there's some Teflon washers there, that's just to make sure that you don't scratch the wheel. Tighten that up, and then the beautiful part about this carrier is these slots, and these slots enable you to fit a wide range of tires and wheels. And of course, you'll want to torque these down and make sure they're getting tight. And then you just raise it back up. Automatically locks. And of course, the, uh, the bolts aren't tight yet, which is why it's wobbling. Uh, and then secure it with the T-handle. So once it's secure, it shouldn't move around at all? No. Yeah, I didn't get my wrenches out, so that's, that's the reason you're seeing that wobble there. But It'll be just as rigid and solid as this receiver is in the receiver. Okay, well, perfect. If you have any more questions about the Roadmaster spare tire carrier or curious to know if it'll work on your application, you can visit us online at hitchsource.com or you can give us a call.